So it's another day, and that means it's time for another rustic wood wall hanging art piece. So what I've got here is I've got five chunks of wood, and I really like the shapes of these pieces of wood, so I think they have some real potential to make a piece of art out of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them up into a few slices, and then I'm gonna take those slices over to my table and lay them out and take a good look at them and see what I can come up with. So the cutting went extremely well, and I've got a lot of really great wood here to work with. In fact, I probably have enough wood here to build two or three rustic wall hanging art pieces, but I'm just going to start out by doing one for now. So it's pieces like this that really get me inspired to do a project. And there's so many great pieces here and so much potential to build something that I'm really excited to get started. So I'm gonna load these pieces onto my cart and take them over to my table and see what I can come up with. So the basic layout's all done, and things actually came together much faster and easier than I expected. You know, a lot of times when I have a bunch of wood pieces and I start moving them around and I try to come up with the design that I want to build, it might take me well over an hour and sometimes even closer to two hours before I finally come up with something that I'm happy with. But in this case, once I started putting the pieces in place, everything came together much faster and easier than I expected. So anyway, I'm gonna start cutting these pieces and start getting this thing built.
So some of you who have seen my videos before might be wondering, I wonder if Scott's ever going to get tired of making these rustic wood wall hanging art pieces? Well, the answer is actually no. I could never get tired of making these. And the reason is, is because as an artist, it's my goal to create something beautiful. So when I see a beautiful piece of wood, what I really want to do is I want to share the beauty that I see with others. And the best way that I've found to do that is to take a few pieces of wood and arrange them in such a way where all the pieces can complement each other to make the very best piece of art that I possibly can. And I actually enjoy every step in the process of making these rustic wood wall hanging art pieces, but probably my favorite step is working on that initial layout. Once I have all those pieces, on my table and I start moving them around and arranging them, I'm always excited to see what direction the wood will take me and what kind of a design I can come up with. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck on your next woodworking project.